Hey, Don here. Okay, well, I decided to make a quick video. Uh, my uh, HP Dell 380G7 server running Fedora 32 decided to ha well hang up right there on the boot after uh, updating and updating some updating the kernel actually most it's mostly what the updates there was nine updates but I thought I just did and rebooted and. Uh, so usually I will just you know hard shut it down, boot it back up and it'll be fine. But uh, I thought uh, I thought I would make I thought I'd just go ahead and make a video. Well, for one thing, maybe people don't realize it. That's usually what'll fix it. You know, uh, fix itself is what it'll do. <laughs> but what I thought I'd kind of go over even for my own. This is a 43-inch 4K TV that I'm using for a monitor. But I can't, uh, this camera's not capable of, you know, showing this tiny text because that 38 whatever by 21 whatever uh, resolution, uh, <coughs> it's really small text. But uh, once you get into the operating system, you can make the text larger where you can read it. That's how, you know, how I do it. But at the top of <coughs> I can't read it without getting up here real close. Top of my screen, there's more way up there. But first place, there's these square brackets on the left, which is un not normal. And there's numbers, which is not normal. <coughs> for the... <coughs> Dang it. <coughs> I think I just stirred up some dust over there when I... Yeah, I did. Ah, wasn't thinking about what I was touching. Pretty much anything got dust on it in this house. Okay. Uh, anyway, this is. Uh, there's obviously a lot more. <coughs> Suddenly, I have this unstoppable drainage. <clears throat> now, I started to restart the video and do it again, but I don't think it's going to get any better. <laughs> so, maybe if I stay away from that thing right there, can't read that. Okay. Uh, Yeah, it says, uh, I can't read it, it's so small. I can read some letters, but not all of them. <sighs> okay, AMD GPU. Oh, okay, that's the video card. HW MGR, I guess, Hardware Manager SW on that. SMU backend is. Polarized 10 SMU. Yeah, SMU. That's the name of one of the colleges in, here in Texas. <clears throat> um, or the abbreviations. So anyway, uh, this goes on down and says, basically it just looks like it's just telling core initialized with version 3.2.116. It, no, there's no errors. I'm not. I don't see any errors. But yet it just hung up. Uh, <clears throat> then it goes to. Uh, if B mappable VRAM. Uh, yeah. Then USB new USB device found on and on. It looks like it's just finding the hardware. Like Logitech uh, mouse. I have a wireless Logitech wireless plugged in, uh, and I also and it's turned off, but it's plugged in. And I have my uh, Microsoft mouse and my HP keyboard plugged in. Normal, old, very old, almost almost 20 years old now. Uh, 
which is what I use. I, I, that's what I like the best of those two. Uh, anyway, forgetting the right, I was forgetting the right place I can read. I can't read it with a magnifying glass because it only gives me a couple of three words, you know. <clears throat> uh, but I remember a while ago I was looking through there and my eyes were a little better a while ago. <clears throat> uh, Logitech, like I said, I know it, it's found by HP, yeah, Logitech Wireless, 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 new low speed USB device. Uh, must be the mouse, I'm, but I don't see it saying, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Microsoft, so that's the mouse. Input, yeah, and tell, Microsoft and Telemouse. <clears throat> I guess it is USB. I think it's USB 2. I don't think it's USB 1, but anyway, they call it low speed, I guess, because it's not USB 3. They may be doing that now. Uh, and then uh, HP device found. They figure, it finds out what it is. Multimedia keyboard. Tells what all it has. And then I hit, I, at first, I wasn't going to mess around, you know, making a video or anything. I hit control alt delete a couple of times. And it said, it didn't even acknowledge that I did it. And I thought, you know, if this is a kernel, fresh kernel install, I don't, I, I thought, well, I don't want to hard shut down unless I have to. I could break something. That could be what breaks it because it's actually doing some sort of configuration, you know, <clears throat> that's taking longer than usual. <clears throat> so, because uh, I've got, again, there's a lot of updates coming out uh, the last few Actually, ever since I installed Fedora 32, I think back in the summer, on this system, <clears throat> uh, so updates. There's there's one to three updates every uh, groups groups of updates every every day, <clears throat> and uh, I've been doing them manually. I used to always just do it all, uh, have it set up automatically, and I haven't done that yet. But the very last thing is uh, says type one one three one. Now, it doesn't even say anything to acknowledge. Oh, wait a minute. Three call, no, three callbacks suppressed. I see. No, I don't think that's where, I, I mean, that is where I hit it, though. Maybe that, I, <clears throat> I don't normally get into trying to learn, you know, every little thing about all this stuff. Keyboard and then yeah I did hit uh, Control Alt Delete two or three times and at least that's what I thought I hit <clears throat> I could have missed keys I do that sometimes lately uh, but it says K A K A K Audit yeah Print K S K B three callback suppressed okay I guess that's why it didn't do it it wouldn't allow it <clears throat> I guess I may try it again to see what happens if it does that again. And then it goes on audit. It's checking hardware, obviously. <clears throat> uh, Dracoot. That's part of the boot system. That's the, I think that is the boot system now. Uh, part of it, anyway. Terminal. This is all. Actually, I think it's the exact same thing over and over for about six times there. Except for when you get on down there, there it's it's different though. <clears throat> okay. System D execute lib system D system D host name. But anyway, every one of them says success at the end. Host name host name host name. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm not running this. This is a server, but I'm not running a server on it right now. <clears throat> oh yeah, I have a website that I've been running for years. It's running. <coughs> you can't see it, but there's a laptop. <coughs> laptop over there. But it's been running on. <coughs> 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 <I'm> a, <coughs> this is my first actual real server I've ever owned, so I'm still learning a lot of things. I'm going to sit down here and get a drink and hit. I'm going to just try control alt delete again. Usually, that's not too uncommon when they do something odd like this that that won't work, but let's try it again.
Yeah, it's not even acknowledging the key press or doing anything. <clears throat> I'll wait for a minute. So I guess what I'll do, after I wait a minute here, I'll... Uh, <clears throat> Sorry about the noise, but uh, I don't have any way to mute this mic. <clears throat> running like crazy <laughs> gotta stop it <clears throat> okay so it didn't do anything so uh, <clears throat> I think I will go ahead <clears throat> and hard shut it down and turn it back on because <clears throat> you can't that's all you can do in this case <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, camera on around here. Now it's in the closet. That's where the server is. That's how I set it up <clears throat> for the kicking the thing. I've got the light way down on the camera, but that's the only way I can point it at the monitor. Yeah, you can't even see. It's in there. <clears throat> um, oh, I can't turn on that light. Yeah, you might be able to see it a little bit. Holding that, everything's good. All the lights are good. Okay. <clears throat> Turn it back on. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that way it's not near as loud in there, in my room. <clears throat> so the uh, monitor goes blue when it doesn't have a signal, <clears throat> and. Uh, I was wanted to hurry before uh, I cut my Bluetooth receiver going to the camera. It's just hanging by its own cable. <clears throat> okay, now, let's see what happens. It's so light, I thought, to, uh, and I was trying to hurry before it, so I wouldn't miss what was going on in case it did go ahead and boot. But I'm not too worried, but you're always worried a little bit that it's actually broken, you know. It's slow, uh, you know, it's a server, it takes a while to boot up, but it's actually not near as slow as... Uh, when I first got it, <clears throat> before I put operating system on it or anything, it took longer, and it can be a little faster. I have it set to show all the... Uh, all the boot information, you know, like what keys do what and everything, because I can't, can't even remember that. And I've just left it like that because <clears throat> never know when you might need it. Okay, so it starts out at 1920 by 1080. That, the, the TV tells you what, what it is there. Uh, for the, because uh, <clears throat> that's as big as that is. <clears throat> of course, it still fills the screen because the monitor makes it do that. <clears throat> but that's the boot screen. <clears throat> <clears throat> and uh, let's see, it'll show everything. 2.53 gigahertz, two two six core processors. Uh, temperature 78 degrees, 20 uh, Fahrenheit, <clears throat> 26 C. Uh, the uh, there is one thing it does. Uh, let's see, the root agent, uh, uh, control S to configuration. The ILO address and the P410i RAID controller. It actually, I wonder if the battery's bad. It says it failed its last, failed a previous attempt to back up data, and then it says accelerator, array accelerator is disabled. So I think the little, though, it has a gig, 1024 megabytes, a gig of uh, backup. And then there's all the F keys. But it has that much backup on it, but it's been doing that for a long time, and I just haven't felt like messing with it, trying to figure it out. <clears throat> can't see that, those, uh, the enable and disable it in ILO that I've seen. You have to get into BIOS, and that's why I just haven't felt like messing with it. Uh, but I do need to figure that out. It may be that the battery's gone bad. 
Okay, now this is a new kernel, uh, Fedora uh, 511, 7100, so on and so, so and so goes away too quick. But I can boot into one of the previous kernels if I have to. But uh, then, I, but I'd have to catch it and do it every time I booted it up. <clears throat> I kind of been going back and forth lately. I, sometimes I let it run 24/7, and sometimes I turn it off at night because it depends on what the temperature is. If it's cold outside, then I, I see I have a vent in the closet going into the attic. So if it's cold outside, I get cold in here. <laughs> and if it's and I have a fan running to try to, it blows air out, but it uh, also Let's air in. It's not mounted over the hole. It's just a floor, little float, about a six six inch floor fan, uh, <clears throat> just blowing at the hole. That's. Uh, I had a fan. I had a fan that I perfectly fit, and I set it all up the day that I did all that, and, and the fan ran two hours and started making noise. The bearing went bad. Okay, now it's booting up. Get into. <clears throat> there we go. So now, oh, it's right back to that same kind of screen. Let me get up there and see. It's not looking good. <clears throat> Attack, attack SCSI generic SG4 time. Now, I see that when it boots in the red normal boot screen about SCSI. So that's how the, I guess that's how the RAID shows up as a SCSI device. <clears throat> Uh, it's just doing the same thing again. It's seeing the hardware, and then it just sits there. It could be that I need to leave it alone and wait, but it. I, I mean, I've had lots of kernel updates in the last couple of months, and I've had not a single one of them do with anything like this. So I think something could be broke then if it's going to do this again. I'll wait a little bit. <clears throat> that was the whole point of me making a video is to maybe, uh, you know, make a video of figuring out what's going on. <clears throat> but uh, and it was working fine. Uh, I had actually rebooted it earlier. Uh, just because I thought it might need it, <clears throat> because it seemed like it was running. <clears throat> uh, the fans were running a little more than I thought they should, <clears throat> from what I normally hear. I left it running last night, and uh, I noticed as I was going to sleep that I could hear it pretty good. Uh, it always runs, running the Firefox, especially... Lots of websites do it, but especially uh, YouTube, and that's what I use a lot. Start watching videos, <clears throat> and it works. Uh, it works it more than uh, there's some other things I've ran that works it more, but that works it pretty good. Especially, well, I have uh, I didn't think to mention I have an eight gigabyte video card in it too, and uh, it handles it all just fine. But it'll get loud, some kind of kind of loud. <clears throat> it can get really really loud. But it'll get kind of loud <clears throat> when you're watching videos, especially if you do it all day, and I do that a lot. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> huh? You never know when something's gonna go wonky. Let me see what that last line is. See if I can see it. <clears throat> HID generic hid. Uh, one above it is the keyboard. My, my HP keyboard, and then uh, HID generic input, HID device, USB, keyboard. And there's nothing that says anything fail. You know, you start. I start thinking. Well, now sometimes if some USB, like to say that I have a USB eight eight terabyte USB backup drive plugged in. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna run over there and look at the. But everything says it's good. It doesn't say anything's wrong with anything. So, uh, can't get my door open far enough to see. Well, all the lights are green on the server. <clears throat> so, I don't believe there's anything. I've got stuff in front of my, a bunch of boxes from Project Sys started. I've got like three or four projects that started and 
haven't got back to got stuff in the way to get the door open far enough for me to see that where that thing happens to be setting the USB drive <clears throat> I can't really see it but uh, I don't want to just hurry up and read well I can't do control all delete anyway so I think we have a bad kernel update because coincidentally, like I said, about probably 30 minutes before this <clears throat> happened, I had rebooted it, and then it showed up like nine updates, and most of it, so there was a couple, a couple of extraneous updates of just regular programs, but the kernel, of course it could be one of those, usually it's not, usually if anything's going to stop anything, it's going to be a kernel update, but. All right, and I haven't had any problem. I'm not running any proprietary video drivers or anything. I haven't had any. Yeah, you know, when I booted it up, it found that it started working that card, that video card, with the open source drivers, and that's all I need. I don't do gaming or anything, you know. <clears throat> I just like to make and edit videos. I mean, watch videos. So I haven't edited any videos on it yet. I just make the videos and leave them as they are. <clears throat> I don't like sitting here like this. It bugs the crap out of me. <clears throat> but the last time I sat there for a little while and then I hit control alt delete, that could have stopped it from continuing. So I'll wait a little longer. It could be that I'm just impatient with whatever it's doing. But lately, like I said, ever since I set this up, I'm usually sitting here when it... Uh, Almost always, if when I reboot it, I'm I'm usually sitting here. So I might go off in the other. Well, I do go off in the other room sometimes to go do something, and by the time I'm back, it's usually done. But <clears throat> say if I go for 10 or 15, 20 minutes, and you know, maybe it did take a while, and I didn't realize it. I wouldn't know. <clears throat> Be ready for me to. I don't. I don't uh, have a. I don't have a graphic login. I, it just boots to the uh, to the terminal. Uh, that's because I install it with the server, the Fedora server install uh, ISO instead of the. I've, I'm running a Mate desktop, but instead of using the Mate desktop ISO, I did the server install because I wanted to pick. You can pick more software that way, and so I did that. And uh, <clears throat> that for ever since Fedora 29, I haven't been able, used to. You could just well in 29, you could run a couple of commands and then it would go ahead and give you the uh, GUI boot screen. But after that, it has done it, and I haven't figured it out. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I have it. Like I said, I'm running my website still on that laptop that I've been running on for at least a year, maybe longer. I don't know how, when I set it up anymore. And I was think I was planning on uh, running my website not directly on the server with you know I don't want my my personal operating system mixed with a web server. Because if somebody breaks out of that web server, they'll, they'll be into all my personal files. And I never have run a server on the same machine that I'm running. I mean, at least not. Maybe for temporarily when, you know, something was down or something. But I've always run, I've always run desktops until the last couple of years. I, uh, well, all the desktops I have, I have a bunch of old desktops still, but they're loud and make so much heat and, uh, the fans went out and different things went out in some of them, the ones I was running. And so I started, I was using an Acer laptop that had a broken screen. It ran for, gosh, I just can't remember time. It ran for, we'll say around a year, maybe more, maybe two years. Again, I don't know for sure. And uh, <clears throat> and it uh, its battery wasn't great anyway, and it killed the battery just running all the time like that. And... Uh, and then it wouldn't, uh, anytime it sh went down, anytime it shut down for any reason, like the power glitching or anything, then it wouldn't, uh, like, could, I just finally couldn't get it to start back up anymore. And so I'm using my good little old laptop, uh, Dell 6000, 